I gave liberal episiotomy. Once I have given liberal episiotomy, now I instruct them to take out the mother's leg from the lithotomy position and to flex it tightly against the mother's abdomen. After they have flexed, or kitna flex karna hai? The knee should be at the level of mother's chest. That much flexion, right? And then they are going to abduct the legs like this. Now, once they have abducted the legs like this, do you see that the available space in the perineal area has increased? Yes. So, please don't say that the pelvic diameter has increased. Pelvic diameter has not increased. Only the available space has increased. Right? Now, what am I going to do? Now, with this, once they have done the legs like this, which is called as Mech Roberts Manoeuvre, now I am trying to deliver the shoulder. Each manoeuvre which you do, you have to do it only for 30 seconds. If in 30 seconds the shoulder is not delivered, I will go to the next step, which is P. After L, it is P. Which means I will instruct one of them to give suprapubic pressure. That suprapubic pressure could be a sustained pressure or it could be in thrusts. Right? While she is giving suprapubic pressure, again I will try to deliver the shoulder. Right? Please understand that whenever suprapubic pressure, whenever suprapubic pressure is given, it is given from pubic Symphysis. If you are giving pressure from near the umbilicus, then that is fundal pressure. Fundal pressure is contraindicated. Suprapubic pressure is something which you have to give. Right? Is this point clear to all of you? Yes. Now, again, the shoulders are not delivered. Now, I have to go to the next step. The principle which is used behind the next step is now suppose this is the fetus and my hand is pubic symphysis. Now whenever any part of the fetus has to be delivered, the principle is that part should be lying directly behind the pubic symphysis. Head ki delivery only hai, toh head should be directly behind the pubic symphysis. If shoulder has to be delivered, then shoulder has to be directly behind the pubic symphysis and in AP diameter. So once I realize that the shoulders are not getting delivered, I uh, now my next thought process is maybe that the shoulders are not in AP diameter. Right? That is why they are not getting delivered. So now I will enter the pelvis. E is for enter. I am going to take my hand inside the pelvis and rotate the shoulder. And then I will try to deliver. So again bring it back. Make it the mother. Now I am taking my hand inside, I am rotating the shoulder. So the image which you are going to get, you will see that hand is inside and hand is trying to rotate the shoulder. This is what is called as Woods Corkscrew Maneuver. What maneuver? Woods Corkscrew Maneuver. Clear to all of you? Yes. Now suppose still. So once I rotate the shoulder, again I try to deliver. Again the shoulder dystocia is not getting relief. Then I go to the next step. Next step is again I will take my hand inside and I will forcefully bring the posterior arm of the baby out. I will deliver the posterior arm of the baby. Which is called as removal of posterior arm. But actually you are not removing the posterior arm. You are delivering the posterior arm. And then you try to deliver the shoulder. Right? So, H-E-L-P-E-R. R stands for removal of posterior arm, which actually is delivery of posterior arm. Abhi bhi shoulder dystocia relief nahi hua. Quickly, I am going to tell the mother to lie on all four limbs. Right? I am going to let the mother lie on all four limbs. I will tell her to turn her back and she has to be in this kind of a position. Right? And in this position, from the back, now I will try to deliver the shoulder. 
This is called as all four maneuver or it is called as Gaskin's maneuver. G A S K I N. Gaskin maneuver or all four maneuver. Right? And still, if the shoulder dystocia is not relieved, I don't have any other option. Now I will push the head of the baby back inside the uterus, followed by cesarean section. Very, very traumatic. For the mother, for the baby. This is called as Zava Nelly's manual. What is it called as? Zava Nelly's manual. Have you all understood shoulder dystocia? Yes. For every 